Yo, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Frosty back at it again with episode 5 of the Cushion Confessions Podcast. And this week we got yet another banger for you guys. We brought back some of the Gulag recruits, so to speak. At this point, we are at 150 remaining in the Respawn Recruits competition. And we are at roughly 250 eliminated. So Respawn, so graciously, gave the remaining recruits a week break. While the eliminated recruits are going to battle it out for their spot back in the competition and why they deserve it. So Schmoog and myself decided what better way to give the Gulag recruits their opportunity to speak on why they deserve a spot back than posting a tweet asking the Gulag recruits in their replies to preach why they deserve to be back and the five most liked replies will be returning on this episode to give their reasons live on the Cushion Confessions podcast, speaking to the partners, speaking to the community why they deserve their chance back into the competition. The Gulag recruits that will be featured on this episode are The Show Danny P, This Is The Ray, Ghost, Kizume, Scary Terry, Tennessee Bandit. Now you might be asking, Frosty, that's six. You said five. Well, two of the Gulag recruits actually tied in the most likes on their post. We just decided to bring them both on. We have six recruits talking in today's episode. I hope you guys enjoy. If you guys do, be sure to leave a like. Don't forget to comment who you guys think should be featured on future episodes of the Cushion Confessions podcast. And don't forget to subscribe to your boy as well as Mr. Schmoog. His link will be in the description where you can find the rest of the videos, the even numbered episodes, if you will, of the Cushion Confessions podcast, as well as some fantastic content over on his channel. That's all I got for you guys. Let's get the rambling over with and let's get right into episode five of Cushion Confessions. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Danny P. I am a five-time respawn recruit, and unfortunately, at the top 150, I got cut. Hey, you guys. My name is Terry Scary Terry. You guys can call me whatever you like. I am a lead of Abyss Outlaws. I am a Call of Duty streamer, and I love the site. Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Ray Smith. Uh, you might know me as This Is The Ray Gaming. Look, I am one of the elders here in the Respawn Recruits. Actually, in the Respawn Recruits Gulag, trying to get his way back into it. 38 years old, I was just telling Frosty, my daughter's 14. My daughter's almost as old as some of you guys that we're competing against. I do content for a living. Uh, I do uh, media production, uh, professional photographer, videographer, drone pilot, all those sorts of things. Um, and game streaming and content creation on social media like this is the only content that i get to do that's for me it's not for someone else um i'm tennessee bandit been a content creator for close to four years now married five kids um lately i've been doing a lot of gta rp um where i both play a criminal uh kyle kennedy he's the mulleted wonder that's the drip king um <laughs> <clears throat> and uh jericho clark which is the sheriff of the county um so it's what i've been doing lately so for those of you that don't know me i'm ghost or michael um i'm a cod content creator mainly but i do do variety content i am now starting to work on gym content hi i'm kizzy me uh or kiz kiz is much easier um i'm a content creator that used to be on beam uh that or now mixer but mixer sadly past its time and now i'm on twitch most of the time um we do a lot of wayfinder content um and a lot of valorant content sorts of stuff it's a really fun vibe you know obviously i have my my nine to five job and i do that with due diligence every single day and every single week but whenever I'm off work, I am at my computer, at my PlayStation, plugging away, doing as, you know, doing my due diligence as a content creator. And I'm going to plug away every single day, every single week, every single month, year, no matter what. To be honest, I am one of the hardest Call of Duty streamers there is. I think mentally, I am more than prepared to do what I can do. I think it's definitely going to be rough to get the partners in the community on my side for it because, you know, it's COD. It's very, very stale. 
but I'm gonna try to do my best that I can as a Call of Duty streamer and sniper to do what I can to bring it out. Personally, I'm a firm believer in pushing the content more than the reason why. Um, like I can ask as many people as possible, please vouch for me, please vouch for me. Um, but I'd rather have my content show th the reason you should vouch for me. Look at what I can do. Uh, s watch my content. Give me a chance. You won't be disappointed. Um, along the same lines as, as Kiz, honestly, uh, my content is, I feel, next level. I always push the boundary. I mean, I'm, I try to make people laugh. I try to make people feel something with my content. Um, I like to be have be all inclusive. I, I just want my content to speak for itself. And obviously me as a creator, me as a person as well. Well, I personally think that I have one of the hardest work ethics. I also prefer my content being more quality produced over quantity wise. So even though I may not post as many videos, at least, you know, in the long run, the content that will be coming out is going to be more higher quality. The growth never stops, you know, it's always there's always something that you can improve with yourself. There's always something that you can do to improve your craft. Um, being more family friendly, definitely. Um, with Call of Duty, as you know, it gets to a lot of cussing. You know, content wise, you know, you want it to be family, a little bit more family friendly side. Trying to reach out and see like what other part, like what partners did throughout, you know, last year's competition through what they think is newer and what's better. Yeah, it's, it's a cool thing. It, it, this is like my sports metaphor. You know, you, you've you you've seen guys um, in the NFL who like go down for a couple weeks and they come back and they're like a completely different player because sometimes when you get out of the fight and you have time to think about what the fight was, you have the ability to be a little bit more strategic. And like I said, like, I really feel like in the last two weeks that I've been on the sideline, like on my phone at one in the morning, vouching everybody and making connections, like leveraging those things that I've learned on the sidelines. I really feel like that's going to be a game changer for me and, and who I am as a creator. Maybe you take a relook at like what you posted, see, hey, if I was viewing this from a higher up standpoint, what would I do? like what advice would i give myself to say hey this can be a lot better here's what to do differently yeah basically just like relook at all content and compare it to what was recently posted in the past of why you were like okay we're accepting you to move on to this round because this content quality is amazing yeah so um looking at the people that have gone so much farther than i have uh one of the big thing that i see between them is of course networking i'm gonna bring it back um it it's just such a great skill to have in content creation because it, if you're able to network properly even if you struggle maybe at making long form content or making short form content uh, if you're able to network it if you make content people will find it networking um I felt like maybe I wasn't networking as much as I should have been. Um, wasn't around the community too much this time. Uh, this week was a little rough uh, for myself. Um, but also just turning that, that, that knob up to 11, you know, turning the content up, you know, showing a little bit more, maybe stepping outside of my comfort zone a little bit more. Uh, I'm I really honestly have no idea at this point they're throwing curveballs every which way possible so it, it could it could honestly be anything at this point um I definitely think it's gonna be talking with other recruits that are a part of it but definitely it's gonna be collabing or something I that's what I think at least I'll be honest with you I don't even know what it is right now I I have not looked um at what the challenges are Man, um, I, I don't, uh, I, I mean, like I said, I've been super surprised as well, you know? I mean, I would be willing to bet to see maybe if they see how we maybe create an, an announcement video or a product review video or something. I also know this because it seems like networking is a huge key. I also thought maybe a challenge would have been, okay, choose like three or four other people that are still in the challenge and do a collaboration video. 
on whatever game, see how much content you guys can create within a given week? Um, say <laughs> I have no idea. I mean, Respawn goes crazy with what they come up with for their ideas. They're going to start putting us in the way of what it would be like to be a Respawn partner. I mean, I, I just gave you some dark horses last time. And for those that didn't remember wh who they were, they were Redhead Vixen, Laddie, and Gordy Kegs. There's one more that I do want to throw out there, and that's Jets underscore 89. She has been absolutely slaying this competition, whether it's, you know, teaming up with Kelly is Cool or Care Bear or it doesn't matter who. Um, Jets has been doing absolutely fantastic work and she's totally surprised me throughout this entire competition. Well, first off, it's you. I think you can make it all the way with everything that you do. You like to work for what you do. Your mentality is amazing. I love it. There's Optical. Optical is the homie. He is another COD guy. You know me. I love my COD guys. I'm always going to be by their side. From the gulag side you got ghost ghost i think can make it into the top five he's very very underrated um i think that the elder gamesman has got like an unbelievable chance i think sith like you said too um mm. is hugely chance um i'll tell you who i really love a lot um and like I, i'm gonna say this like carefully because like i know that she's not a partner but i already think she i think care bear is fantastic i think that what she does her community is really 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 strong um and and i would love to see them go a long 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 way i want to see care bear partner definitely sif is one of him one of them for sure that man posts like crazy what is it like three shorts a long form video tiktoks all that he's like everywhere on my social media I would have to say also Frosty. Um, he's been doing a lot of content as well, doing the thumbnail wars and stuff like that. I believe that you're one of them as well, because he's definitely been putting in the work and stuff like that as well. But I would say also probably the Kinetic as well. Like now that she's back streaming and stuff like that, I know she had it rough in the beginning because she didn't have like herself and stuff like that. But I think now that she's like back at her desk and everything like that, she's making a whole bunch of things work. My last spot would probably have to be Court. She's been doing a lot of work too behind the scenes. It doesn't go unnoticed. One one big one that I think, um, the Elder Gamesman. He's been posting some crazy stuff. I've joined so many of his streams. The hype is real. And I really en enjoy just how interactive he is with his content. So Frosty, his networking on Twitter X and like with the content he makes, top notch, man. Like oh my gosh i if i just open my twitter feed he's like three of the posts no matter what ninja fry i was able to do a collaboration stream with him not that long ago and it he's just such a nice dude he's mm -hmm. insane and like i just i just want to see him get to the top this content is above board it's always great um great quality Frosty, uh, same thing, you know, with his content, but his, his just people skills mm -hmm. are incredible. Elder, yeah, Elder's just production value is just top tier. Everything that he does is just amazing. I know I need to make more short, uh, short form content. That's the number one thing that I need to do and I need to get better at. Um, I recognize that I'm going to start utilizing it either youtube shorts or TikTok or whatever i it, it has to happen be hanging out around the partners trying to hang out with them network with them a little bit maybe play some games with them um network with people that are inside of the recruits bring something together with a few of them you know the cod side a little bit and try to branch out all right yeah so I stream four times a week on Twitch, just twitch.tv forward slash Kizimi on uh, Tuesdays, Thursdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Um, and I'm going to be posting daily TikToks and YouTube shorts. Um, 
because I, I want to step up that content grind, man. I, I've been slacking with how much content I was producing for like uh, video formats. Mm -hmm. And I really want to change that. And YouTube videos, probably one or two a week, just to, to cap it all off. All right. So you can find most of my content on Twitter. Um, that's mainly where I post. Um, I do post my long forms on YouTube, so you can definitely check out more of my COD content there. I'm also streaming right now on both Twitch and Kick at the same time. We try to stream usually three to four times a week, and it's usually later at night, because that's when I usually have the time to do it. I like the content and stuff like that, the support and the vouchers mean the world. And it's kind of just what I like to do is just support the same people that support me, but you can find me both on uh, on Twitch. Um, really depends be between three to four times a week. Um, haven't been streaming as much lately, but it's going to change. Um, also been on TikTok as well. So you can find a lot of my short form content there. Going to try some long form content this week. Throw that up on YouTube. So you can find me on Twitch, YouTube and TikTok. If you guys like my content. I'm going to let it speak for itself. I would, I would love if you guys could vouch for me. Um, I would love to continue on and show you guys what more I'm capable of.